YouTube, what's going on? It's Juan Gotti here with another Washington football team video. And in today's video, I'm coming on here with a post-game reaction video to Washington getting absolutely dismantled, destroyed. Whatever word you want to use to describe this performance and this whooping, Washington lost. And the game is still going on. It's about nine minutes to go. And this is the first time I've, I wouldn't say ever, but in a very, very long time that I actually cut off of a Washington football team game while it was still going because I'm a diehard fan. And I don't want to do that. But it was just, it was terrible. 56 to 7 was your score at the time. And I wouldn't be surprised if they were getting, if they were getting 60. I mean, you saw from the jump as they put up 21 points in the first half, first quarter, actually. Oh, I actually take that back. Third, was it 35 in the first quarter? They, they straight up just demolished us, young. Like, we didn't deserve to be on the field with those boys. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was ass today. Taylor Heineke, terrible. Missing passes through all, all, all day long. Get, um, getting pressure in his face and not knowing when to throw the ball out of bounds. Taylor Heineke was awful today. He was trash. He, he was terrible. He's a backup. He's a backup, and he did a great job fooling us this year. Fooling me, I should say. Fooling me, because I thought at some point this guy could be a starter for us. He did a great job fooling me. He's a backup. We need our quarterback. And no, he didn't get any help. I mean, the offensive line was getting absolutely plastered for the second straight time by the Dallas Cowboys. More so could Keith Ishmael and Sadiq Charles. That's what you get. That's what you get when you have your fourth round second second uh second year guy in in City Charles, uh where was he yeah he was drafted in 2020 so set because uh, he got hurt last year versus the Giants so you have your fourth round picks in City Charles out there at playing guard and then you have um, Keith Ishmael who was uh, drafted by San Diego State I want to say in the sixth round or fifth round one of those that's what you get you see how bad we missed Chase Rulier this game you see how bad we missed Brandon Sheriff this game. You know what I'm saying? Because again, for the second straight time, this offensive line didn't get Taylor Heineke no time to throw the ball. Throw the ball. Keith Ishmael was getting blown back into Taylor Heineke's lap every single play. So no, Taylor Heineke was terrible today. He was, he was trash, man. But again, the offensive line didn't do him no help. Do him no favors. I mean, Charles Leno getting whipped on by Randy Gregory. Michael Parsons had a sack. Demarcus Lawrence had a had a uh, you know um, I forgot who did it last, last the other week uh, I forget his name but basically the same thing that happened to, to at our house happened there he batted it up and returned it for a pick six like it's just crazy man it was just it's terrible Terry McLaurin only having one catch Trayvon Diggs pretty much shutting him down and again I I, I don't like Diggs man he he's so silently cocky man like it just oh it irks my nerves man. Because again, no, Terry, he hasn't, he didn't have the best game. Yes, Diggs had, did make a couple good plays on him, but the ball, but, but some of these plays, the ball just was terrible. Ball is that deep shot, first play of the game, first offensive play of the game, where we just literally got a three and out, then we give him the ball back on the very next play. I didn't have a problem with that. I had a problem with the, the pass. The pass was terrible. It was so underthrown, didn't give Terry a chance to make a play on the ball. You know what I'm saying? Um, getting no credit taken away from Diggs, man. One hell of, a, hell of a player, but I just don't like him because he's a, he's a rival, man, and he's so silently cocky. Like, he don't talk trash, but he, he just, <clears throat> he's he lifting his shoulder. Like, he just, oh, this, it blows me, fool. It blows me. Uh, but nah, man. <sighs> they, 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 they're they just a better team. I mean, shout out to Dan Quinn, man. Um, He turned that defense around. I mean, God, that defense was one of the worst in the NFL last year, and he just, in one year, just turned it around and made it one of the best. I mean, what can I say? We just got we got dominated on both sides of the ball. The defense can't stop a nosebleed. I know everyone wants to talk about Jonathan Allen and, and Deron Payne fight. I mean, I'm with Jonathan Allen on this one. I, they don't need to be fighting at all. But obviously when tempers get the flaring and stuff like that, obviously, you know, they're, they're, they're going to they're gonna, you know, have arguments and whatnot. But once you put your finger in another man's face, oh, oh, it's on. So I'm with I'm with John Allen. You don't want to pick a fight with John Allen. Again, it's bad on both of their parts because they're, 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 they're guys that knew each other since Alabama. Um, he, they're our, or John Allen's one of our captains, probably our best defensive player, and he's doing that. Yeah, that's not good. But again, you put your hand in another man's face, you automatically got to catch these hands, man. You got to catch these Joey daddies, fool. Straight like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, defense, again, couldn't stop a nosebleed. Secondary was lost today. Bobby McCain getting picked apart on. 
Uh, Daryl Roberts getting picked on. Kendall Fuller. Everyone was just getting picked on today. You know, line back and core was asinine. You see what happens when you have David Mayo. Jordan K, I don't even know if he's on the field, but David Mayo and, and Milo Eiffel in the game. You see how big Cole Hogan and Jamie Davis are. You know, I like I know a lot of people wanna 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 give up on Jamie Davis, but you see what happened when he's not out there, right? Terrible. This team it was just a bad performance. There's so much that went wrong in this game that I would be here sitting here till tomorrow talking about how bad we were in this game. We suck, dog. We suck. And it's bad, man. It is bad because again, just two weeks ago we were six and six, thinking that we could possibly not only get a wild card spot, but win the goddamn division. Now two weeks later, three weeks later, we're sitting here. You know what I'm saying? It is bad, dog. Like, oh my god. I don't even know what the score is. Now let's check the score. Washington football team score. Washington football team score. 56-7 still. I wouldn't be surprised if they put up 60. I wouldn't be surprised if they put up 60 and get us up out of there. I mean, they already did, but you know you know what I'm saying. You know what I mean. It's bad, though. It is so bad. I mean, hey, Deami Brown finally made a catch, though. Since week two, I haven't seen two make a catch since week two, and he finally made a sighting. I guess that's good. But Taylor Heineke, man, was terrible today. He was bad. We need a quarterback. And we, we, we knew that, though. Like, that's not no surprise. We've been knew that. But to go out there and play like I, And I thought the game versus Dallas the first time at our crib, it couldn't have been no worse. I really thought that. It was no way we could go out there and play like that. Again. And we did. We doubled up. We played worse. Sunday Night Massacre. This is the worst loss since the 2011 loss. And this is probably worse. I think this is worse. Then the 2011 loss versus the Philadelphia Eagles, 2010. This shit was terrible, young. This shit was over in the first quarter. But yeah, man, here's the offseason now. Yet again, another mediocre season by the Washington football team. But you guys know I'm going to be here putting out content, putting out NFL content. Big channel update coming out soon, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But as always, it's me and Will Wangadi, man. Like, comment, subscribe, help to watch the football team. Another mediocre season down the drain. See you guys in the offseason, or see you guys to finish out these next two weeks. Then we hit the offseason road, draft, talk, free agent talk, everything. I'm out. Peace. Uh, cross me one time, that's gonna get you pop. Get you pop, uh, get you pop.